Cities across the nation, including Mobile, are faced with dealing with a soaring number of teens dropping out of school. Now there's an innovative strategy in the Mobile County Public Schools that is changing the course of the way educators are approaching the dropout issue. In September of 2007, the U.S. Department of Labor named the city of Mobile as one of seven cities to participate in their Multiple Education Pathways Blueprint Initiative. That initiative involves finding ways of alternative educational opportunities for high school students who have difficulty graduating or who have dropped out of school. Marcy McNeil now joins us from Viger High School to tell us about the approach that Mobile is taking to address this issue. Marcy? Thank you, Nancy. As we reported in the last edition of Inside Education, we told you about the Drop Back In program. Now, that's a program which allows high school students who have dropped out of school the opportunity to complete their high school education. That is just one means the school system is using to help combat the dropout numbers. This research brings together under one umbrella groups like the Mobile Education Foundation, school business partners, the school system, and of course, the city. It is really one of the most critical problems that confronts our community. Uh, we have thousands of young people who did not finish high school, who are not employable, so they actually contribute to our unemployment number. Mobile's mayor, Sam Jones, is referring to the Mobile County high school dropout rate. It is that reason which has prompted the city, the school system, and the community to take action. This gathering of forces is called the Research Alliance for Multiple Pathways, or RAMP. It is a joint effort to look into the reasons why teens drop out of school and implement solutions to help solve these problems. The Multiple Pathways movement was developed in response to the county's struggle with dropout rates. In a press conference, the mayor announced his plan to address the dropout rate and to cut that number in half by 2014. I think 50% reduction by 2014 is a reachable goal. I think it's a reachable goal because what we found is that there's no one issue that causes pe young people to drop out of school. Every time we can touch a kid and encourage them to get that high school diploma, the better we're going to be as a community. RAMP is a program of the Mobile Area Education Foundation. Dr. Hilder Wilson is with that organization and previously served as project director for the RAMP program. She says the city of Mobile was fortunate to receive a part of the $2.9 million grant because those monies now allow the chance to conduct in-depth study into this growing problem. It was to develop multiple pathways. It's a planning grant. There are two types. Ours was planning as opposed to implementation. It gave us a chance to do some serious studies, longitudinal studies, uh, cohort studies, an opportunity to discover where we are in terms of data and where we need to be and what it's going to take to get us there. Now, Nancy, one other finding that came about in the study is that they found only 55% of students graduate on time from high school in Mobile County. That is looking at a class of 5,100 freshmen at the start of the year. Only about 2,800 of them graduate on time. So if the mayor's plan of cutting the dropout rate in half by 2014 is successful, that will mean another 1,400 students will graduate high school and millions of dollars added to the local economy. Nancy? Thank you, Marcy.